Welcome back to Market Yes Mom Badass Out of Art. I'm your girl Jelena and we're gonna create the infamous trendy baby girl afro cake. Isn't she pretty? Alright, first things first is I went ahead and printed on my edible printer the Afro Puff Baby Girl. I found one online. You can Photoshop it any way you want it to. I Photoshopped mine to be a little bit darker. Sometimes they come out a little bit lighter, like this tiny one. She's a little more lighter. I Photoshopped mine to be a bit more darker. And now all I'm gonna do is actually go ahead and use my X-Acto knife and cut it out and plaster her onto the cake. I printed her with the edible printer on icing sheets. Again, all your tools and supplies you can find down below there in the description. Now when I cut her out, I want to cut out around her head. Basically, I'm cutting out the little afro puffs off of her head and I just want her basic silhouette. Now that I have cut out my little baby, I'm going to attach her to this three-tiered tall cake. You can make your cake however tall you want. Again, you can adjust your baby to whatever height you want to adjust it to. The way we're going to adhere it is we're going to use some piping gel, some clear piping gel. I'm going to lay her here. I'm going to make sure her face is completely flat on the second tier. Very carefully pushing her down. Just taking your time, being patient with this part because we don't want to ruin her. All I did was make the same kind of peachy tone as the color of her actual outfit that was printed. I cut these little circles out and then I kind of made them look like fortune cookies where I pinched one side of it, just one side, and then I folded the other side up in it. So it makes this ruffle when we add it to her bottom area. Ruffles, I'm gonna add some clear piping gel to where I'm gonna be adding the ruffles. And firmly press it on. So that way, her little ruffle bottom is 2D-ish. Uniformed, I want it to look scattered. I'm actually really happy with this. It looks, she looks so cute already. She looks so adorable. So I'm gonna make a little bow here and put that there to cover that part. So let's make that bow now. What's up girl? How you doing? I know. I know, I be knowing. Mm-hmm. I'm just chit-chatting with my friend here. Yeah girl, hold that thought one second. I wanna thank all of my patrons for signing up. I really appreciate you and all the support you've been giving me. I can't wait to show you guys the new tutorial that I have for you this month. If you are a Patreon, thank you so much. If you are not one of my Patreons, please check out the link below in the description. It should be here on the screen now. And you can become one of my Patreons where you get elite and exclusive tutorials that are only given access to them. Also, you get first dibs on my YouTube tutorials. So, there's that. Any hoozles. I appreciate you. Mwah. Bye. I'm gonna see if any one of these would fit good on my bow for it to be too big. Clean it up a little bit. Yeah. I think that will be just fine for it. We have this little jewel and then the rest of the bow. So I'm gonna add my bow right here. I'm gonna put the piping gel on the back of it. The reason I'm using piping gel rather than water, which normally I would use water, is because I need this to stick. It's a little more heavier. fluff up and shape the bow. I already cut out some strips of white fondant for the laces. I have a thinner paintbrush 
and I'm just going to use that to put the piping gel on. Again, this works best on top of edible paper rather than water because water will start to disintegrate your paper and maybe even make the ink run. I'm doing it in the same color as the rest of her outfit. The jewel on her ear is about the same. Perfect. And now let's get the black buttercream to pipe. What I'm gonna do so I can outline where her puffs are gonna be, I'm gonna use a circle cutter. Choose whichever circle cutter that you want for how big you want her puffs to be. And just making an indent on my cake, pressing gently down I can outline where I want it to be. And if you notice, this one actually went above the cake. So I wanna make sure I put something here that's going to hold my buttercream. All I did was cut out a circle the same size as my cutter. And then I cut off a piece of that to be the top portion. And then I just added a piece of floral wire to it a very small piece of floor wire that I'm going to now insert into the cake. And this is gonna hold up here so that way it looks like her bun is not only popping out forward from the cake, but it's popping up out from the cake also. Okay. Top her little, there we go. You probably can't tell from the camera, this might be a little too light, but here, it's already marked off as a circle, and whatever was cut off, this circle is adding on to, so you can see that. And now I'm just gonna pipe some buttercream onto it. gonna add my bows using again piping gel and now I'm gonna add the ribbon okay good Just give it a good push making sure it stays on I'm gonna pipe to fill in this white so we don't see any of the white fondant. I think she looks cute. Look how cute she looks. She is such a doll. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. All right, now we're gonna decorate the rest of the cake. Gold luster dust mixed with some Everclear. I'm painting on the black. Using black as the base makes it look a little more antique-ish. And definitely makes the gold pop a little bit more. Okay, I rolled out another mold and this is like all pearls i'm gonna add that to the top part of the top tier and paint that gold and i have some of that teal fondant that i'm gonna cut out a number one with because this cake is going to be for our first birthday and i'm going to use my popsicle stick here twist it up for our number one that's going to go on top of the cake I have my number one here, but what I want to do is add some decor to the back of it. 
So we're using some black fondant and the same leaf mold. You want to make sure that you roll completely over your mold so that way the impression is as deep as it can possibly be. See, so when you pull it off, you can't see now because it's black on black right now. But when I paint it gold, you'll see all that detail pop just like I did on the cake. What I'm going to do now is cut out all the extra black fondant and get as close as possible to the actual leaf. I'm going to put it on the back of my number one. Isn't that pretty? It's so pretty. All right, we're going to go ahead and add this to the cake now. I'm going to add some of the piping gel on the back of my mold. I want to make sure I'm getting in the crevices. Perfect. Isn't it pretty? So cute. What you want to do before you poke your topper through your cake is just go ahead and pre-make a hole already because you may have to push down on this and you want to make it as easy as possible to be able to push down. And you also are going to want to use some sort of tweezers, but you want to use that to make it more easier for you to also pull down. Make sure I place it right. Be as gentle as you can. I think she looks beautiful. Now we've created this beautiful, glamorous, adorable, royal baby girl birthday afro cake. I think there's only one thing left to do. Let's take some photos. Okay, of the cake actually. Let's get some close-ups so that way you can see all the beautiful detail we put together for you. Okay, really quick for my outro. Make sure you're following me on YouTube. Make sure you're following me on Instagram. Make sure you check out my HBIC tour. You guys have a wonderful day. Deuce.